Well, if you have a cold and you don't like the symptoms, there may actually be something really, really simple that you can do about it. And on top of that, clinically proven over and over and over again. In a title which requires no embellishment in regards to zinc acetate, the citation title is called The Effectiveness of High Dose Zinc Acetate Lozenges on Various Common Cold Symptoms of Meta-Analysis. Now, researchers had a hypothesis in regards to zinc acetate. They thought that was the most effective form of zinc in a lozenge form. And without, again, without having to embellish it, let's read right into the research because they write it out so well and it's easy to understand. Here we go. A previous meta-analysis, meta-analysis, if I can pronounce it right, it'll be easier to understand, found that high-dose zinc acetate lozenges reduce the duration of common colds by 42%. Let's say anything you'd normally pick up at a doctor's office have that type of effectiveness rate. Here we go. Whereas low zinc doses has had low zinc doses had no effect. Lozenges dissolved in the pharyngeal region. That's real fun to try to pronounce. Thus, there might be some difference in the effect of zinc lozenges on the duration of respiratory symptoms in the pharyngeal region compared with the nasal region. The objective of the study was to determine whether zinc acetate lozenges all right, have different effects on the duration of the common cold symptoms originating from the different anatomical regions. But to get basically in, they found out what it did in the throat, it also worked in the nasal passages also. But this is just to get an idea of what they did and how much they used. We analyzed three, not we, but the researchers, analyzed three trials on zinc acetate which used about 80 to 92 milligrams a day in lozenges total. All right, so this is the results that they were able to basically filter out of the studies. You ready for this? This is pretty incredible. Not only the reduction of the common cold duration, which people try to tell you there's nothing they can do, well, 42% reduction, that's something. But listen to how it reduced the symptoms down. You ready? Here we go. According to the calculations by the researchers, high-dose zinc acetate lozenges shorten duration of nasal discharge by 34%, nasal congestion 37%, sneezing by 22%, a scratchy throat by 33%, sore throat by 18%, hoarseness by 43%, and cough by 46%. Furthermore, to go a little deeper into the research itself, researchers said this and to quote verbatim. Furthermore, they found strong evidence that zinc lozenges also shortened the duration of muscle aches by 54%. Now you'd be going, wow, that's incredible. But zinc acetate and 80 to 92 milligrams, isn't that kind of high? Well, to quote the researchers, once again, this is what they conveyed. Adverse effects of zinc were minor in the three studies. Therefore, the researchers, which have names I cannot pronounce, please forgive me, conclude from the research that zinc acetate lozenges releasing zinc ions at doses of about 80 milligrams a day may be useful treatment for the common cold if started within 24 hours for a time period of less than two weeks. May be useful? 42% reduction in the duration, and then the reduction in those symptoms? I would give it a thumbs up. Again, Ralph Church Channel, signing off. It's important that you remember it's zinc acetate, A-C-E-T-A-T-E, -E -E, acetate. There's lots of different forms of zinc out there, but the one they used in the study itself was zinc acetate. Look for that. Thanks once again. Hope this helps.